One of the value-added use case for generative AI is document processing. Most of the models are able to process your document when you are using them in RAG pipeline. Most of the open source models, they struggle to understand and process complex documents. Even GPT-4 struggles at times, especially if you don't have any pre-processing pipeline in place, you might have felt a lot of pain when trying to get complex documents processed. When I say complex document, what I mean is that a document containing tables, figures or complex data. This tool, LLM Whisperer, makes it easier to talk to your complex documents. Plus, it does it very, very easily. So in this video, we will be trialing this tool, which is called as LLM Whisperer. So, and we all know that LLMs are quite powerful, but their output is as good as their input. So garbage in, garbage out. So you can't just simply throw your documents into LLMs. You need to have a tool which does some sort of data cleaning, data pre-processing, and then you would be able to get intelligence out of your document. And that is exactly what this LLM Whisperer does. That plus also, um, we all know that layout preservation is quite important. But if you just simply throw your document in, it is there is every chance that LLM won't be able to preserve your layout. Plus also, if you have checkboxes, radio buttons in your document, then there are very, very few rack pipelines which can take care of those. So, for example, in most of the forms, we have these checkboxes and radio buttons. So LLM Whisperer is quite uh, adept at taking care of it. So because it is very important to read the values of those radio buttons uh, correctly in order to make sense of such documents and process them down the chain. So LLM Whisperer reads those checkboxes and radio buttons in a very LLM friendly way. Also, <clears throat> there are various other features which you can uh, check with it. For example, you can have auto mode switching. So what it means is that while processing documents, LLM Whisperer can switch automatically to OCR mode or optical character recognition mode if text mode extraction fails to generate su sufficient output. You don't have to worry about the extraction mode when sending documents. It also facilitates auto compaction. So the more tokens that go into LLM, the more time it takes to process your prompt. And of course, the more expensive it becomes. With LLM Whisperer, uh, you can have auto compaction. So tokens that might not add value to the output are compacted, all while preserving layout. And in my humble opinion, that is the best feature of this tool because it is saving you time. It is saving you cost. Also, to get the best of results, you can control how pre-processing of the scanned images is done. You can choose parameters like median uh, filter or Gaussian blur and they can be influenced by the API if you need. So yes, so LLM Whisperer also provides you a RESTful API which you can use with their API key. And then you can deploy it in a very, very fine way. And there are a few other features too which I will be discussing later, but now let's try it out. So sign up for a free account <clears throat> on this website and I will drop the link in video description. Then uh, click on demo playground before that you will be presented to this screen after logging in and then this is a playground now on the right hand side you can upload any document or you can just simply check out from their supplied document so let me first try out try out with my own document i'm just simply going to upload a table in pdf format you see that I have uploaded this table.pdf, click on submit. I'm not a robot. And then it is extracting the text and I will let it run. I also want to show you the speed of it because this is one very, very important factor. If I have hundreds and thousands of documents, speed matters. There you go. So you see, it has very, very correctly identified the table. The um, of course those lines of table borders are not there, but still, if you look at it, it has done wonderfully well. And if I quickly go through the numbers, I don't really see any error there. All the numbers are very very correct, even to the comma. 
and spaces are there and even it has in the third row if you can see it has even put in the parenthesis so how good is that and because this is a playground you can only process two pages of pdf so but i had only one so it's all good now you see that on the top you can go with ocr mode you can go with the text mode and then you can output mode is text you can see so layout has been preserved but if you just want to dump the text you can dump the text and then you can click on extract here i'm not a robot then it is going to <clears throat> do the extraction of the text because for example you want to create a llm data set out of it or you want to just convert it to json and all that stuff so there you go because it's a table that is why it is you know it has just dumped the extract and then you can also upload another file if you like up to you and on the left hand side you can bookmark it you can attach uh, other stuff too so let me go back and see if i am able to uh, use their own example from their website so let me select this receipt because uh, receipts are very hard to read so i'm just going to go with this click submit let's wait for it to extract it and it's a simple i think phone image of it there you go how good is that so if you scroll down through amazing stuff so it has even you see the gst at five so it has just selected this gst at five percent amazingly well amazing stuff okay. let's check out another example i'm just going to see this signature thing which is a handwritten form so let's see there you go so let's see how it processed its signature and then you see the date and look at this the date was 10 15 23 handwritten but how nicely it has done that and then we have these check boxes and look at this because uh, in the handwritten form the other was selected and so it has selected with this x here in the other one very very impressive similarly this single one this was selected and it has nicely selected it so if you just want to again do the text dump then you can do that it hasn't pulled out the signature by the way but that is fine let's wait to see what sort of text it dumps there you go amazing stuff beautiful great stuff so that's it guys very very impressive tool i will drop the link to it in video description Try it, try it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching